Hello, I'm Father John Hines here at St. Catherine of Siena Parish in the Diocese of Wellington on this seventh Sunday in which Jesus says to us, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. And right off, this sounds like a recipe for enabling people who might do constantly do wrong to us or even masochism, uh, lend to those without, who will not repay you, Pray for those who persecute you. But we know that this is the heart of the gospel. He's not just saying pray for your friends or pray for people generally, but pray for your enemies. I tried to examine myself on this. Uh, my first re reaction is I don't think I have any enemies, people who are deliberately and consciously trying to harm me. Um, we can all fall into the group enemy category. I watched a movie last night called Belfast, which is the, about the Northern Irish troubles between Catholic and Protestant. And people are getting dragged or forced into choosing one side against the other and becoming enemies because of a group, like Ukrainians and Russians would today, or the people being persecuted in Burma, in Myanmar. But in terms of personal relationship, the enemies, if I could say there are, are people for myself who ignore me or seem to not pay attention to me or not to value who I am or what I do. And that's very subjective. Uh, they're all unquestionably decent people, good people. Uh, they, do, they do me no harm, but uh, something I long for and crave, recognition, uh, approval, uh, they withhold and not even necessarily consciously. So this may not apply to everyone, but it seems to me that part of our mission as Christians, part of our identity, is that we do the difficult or the challenging things which often put us into being uh, opposed by others. That if we are feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, that if we are standing up for what is right, opposing racism in the ways that it appears in our own area, um, pushing on other people to do things that need to be done, or correcting or rebuking what we think is wrong, we will get uh, kickback and opposition. And when I look at myself, I have to say, I don't think I put myself in that position very often. Uh, I'm kind of a mild, stand back type person. And so perhaps part of being a Christian is that you are in a position where you get opposed, not necessarily by bad people, but by people who see things different from you, people whose values are against yours. And perhaps reviled or made fun of or ignored. Uh, this is, I think, perhaps a very humble contribution to what Jesus is saying, but this is the heart of the gospel. We are not allowed to hate anyone. In fact, we are called to love all, especially those who wrong us. I think in the world today, in our culture at least, for many young people and not so young people, uh, Christianity and the Catholic Church particularly, is seen as promoting um, exclusion, prejudice uh, against, uh, for example, gay or uh, even divorced people feel unwelcome sometimes, or persons who are um, transsexual. If the church is seen as excluding and therefore uh, hating, that's, a ver that's, a, that's very wrong and a great mistake. I think it's for us to lower the barriers of exclusion, or which what appears to be exclusion, and stand up for and profess outwardly our faith, so that these contradictions, which seem to some people to exist uh, in the Catholic Church, can be dealt with. So in summary, I think sometimes it's because we're too reticent, we don't, uh, confront the issue, we don't uh, proclaim Jesus as he truly is, that we don't have 
these encounters, or maybe these collisions, which would lead us to talk about enemies. The enemy, who we might call such, is almost certainly a good person who sees things differently and has reasons uh, to oppose us. And even if the reasons are mistaken, uh, they still see us that way. And so uh, Jesus' words, for me, I struggle with, are inescapable. Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. And good to be with you. God bless you, and may your week uh, bring forth all, all kinds of good, and may you share it with others.